How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> so, like stated, I did some off screen grinding, and I actually changed up gear a little bit. Um, not too much, just like equipment. The equipment's still the same. Uh, the clothes Chrono is wearing should be different, though. Yeah. Prism Helm, Nova Armor, and Prism Specs. That's the thing I was recommended to put onto him for this fight. Um, with that said, there was one specific move as well that I didn't realize I should have used. So, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to try it. Lavos will help you leave this mortal coil. Go to the day of Lavos? Yeah. I don't know which ending we're going to get. I hope it's the true ending, the good ending, but I don't know. I hope so. If not, then hey, at least we beat the game. We should, though. If we don't, it's probably because we killed Magus. I don't know if that's going to impact it or not, though. We'll see. This is a lot of red. Let's go. Let's find him. For Doan? Wait, who's Doan again? Hey, it's a shell. Look, a hole. Shit, if we're over. Guess we have no choice. But, let's go. In the hole. Ah. Okay. So, I guess we're here again. We're in pretty deep. We're okay. Right? I, I hope so. Whoa! Hold on. I think we're good. Sorry. Had to readjust the cords there. I don't know what happened. What was that? Alright, let's go. Alright. Cell? For those who don't know Dragon Ball... This is Lavos. Ah! This is the real thing. I don't know if I like the real thing. Okay. Laser beam, doors of doom open. I don't know if I like that. Ow, 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 ow. Jeez, man. Okay. Oh yeah, I put a Berserker on freaking Marl. I forgot about that. Okay, so this should do 3,000 something? Yeah, okay. Decent. Ow, ow, ow. Yo. Not cool. Yeah, we're gonna make sure we kick the arm's butts before anything else. Then after destroying the arms, we'll make sure to destroy the body. Okay, at this point, I think we... Excuse me. Pardon? That was uncalled for. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, wow. That actually didn't really do anything. Oh, wow. Why'd you... There you go! Marl, what are you doing? I'm sure that hurt. <laughs> I, I'm almost positive that hurt. 
There you go, Marl. All right, everyone just attack, attack the body. Oh, hell. I didn't do anything. Uh-oh. How much is this going to do? Eh, okay. Ah, oh, great. Chrono's confused. <laughs> he's confused and he still hits him. Ah, uh, what do I hit? At least he's still hitting the right target. Shadow Slay. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Back to our. Oh! Wow, I didn't really do anything. This guy takes a lot of hits. <laughs> Then again, our attacks are kind of weak against this bigger thing. I don't know if this is bad or not. Uh-oh. How much does this do again? Like, 40? Oh, my! I wish. Lavos' attack power went up. That can't be good. Come on. Just just fall already, Lavos. Please. I beg of you. Just die already, please. Jeez, this guy's taking a lot of hits. How durable is that thing? That's what I'm wondering. How durable is he? Yeesh, man. Is it... Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, there we go. But okay. All right. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. Is this the actual Lavos? What was I just fighting? Like a robot? Now I understand. It lives on a planet for as long as possible, stealing away the most vital resources. Combined the DNA it found here with its own, and gave birth to those creatures up on Death Peak. Eventually the young must migrate to other planets to repeat the cycle. Are you saying... It's the reason we're all here. So, basically, that thing gave birth to humans in this universe. And it, using the DNA of its own and that of the planet. And eventually, once it had enough of the planet, it was going to move on to the next. Why does that sound familiar? All of our history, our art and science, all to meet the needs of that beast? This is Kronos and ours, Leans and Dones, everyone's, and I mean everyone's, world. Impossible. You can't expect to toy with an entire world and get away with it. Okay, I've heard about this part, actually. I've heard things about this part. I was given advice, like, while looking kind of at hints and tips without actually spoiling anything. Attack the left orb and the right orb. Ignore the middle one. Well, don't ignore the middle one, but, you know. Oh, right. Um, hey, uh, Luca? 
hidden below. Oh my! Yeah, that looks like it hurt. I mean, okay. Here. Marl, Mar take an elixir. Chrono. Wait. What happened to the other guy? What happened to the other guy? I'm confused. And I took a while to do that. If I die this time, it's probably because I did... I feel like this is one of those fights you can't delay it or you're just messing yourself up. Okay. Okay. Sure. Now the only reason I did that is because of the MP aspect. Time warp. That's probably... Magus! He's gonna use an attack Magus has. Oh, no. I remember that move, actually. That move was a pain! Okay, Luca... I'm gonna need Luca to use an uh, elixir on herself. Hey! Oh. Actually, yeah. Shut up, phone. I'm kind of busy. Okay. You know what's weird I'm noticing is that to hit the one on the left, you push right. To hit the one on the right, you push left. Huh? Ow! Hey! 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 <laughs> okay. At this point, all of my elixirs are just going to go to... Only Chrono. Bit smacked. Oh gosh! Does her defense go down or something? <sighs> I am going to need her alive for the sole purpose that Attack Nabbit. Attack that one. And. Tech. Life. I need Marl alive. Marl's probably gonna go berserk, but you know. Uh oh. Oh no. Gah! It's a waste of elixirs, but I kind of need it. Okay. Next up. Once again, bring Marl to life. Oh! I just killed that thing! Ooh. 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 Perfect. Do that. And then feed me the juice. Because that's what that is. That's juice. Good job. 
Good job, Merle. Well. Um. Um. Time warp. Level score shuts off defense. That is perfect. That's what I want. Please don't kill Luca. That's only to spare Chrono from dying. I'm sorry, Luca. That was the last elixir. Ooh, this is a trial. This is a trial, man. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. It's fun, but this is tedious and tough. He has to almost be dead. He has to almost be dead by now. That's fine. I'll work with that. Uh. Uh. Oh! Oh, I don't like that. Whatever. And there's a reason I say that. You're really going to constantly zap that one. That won't be the case for very long. Ow. Well, that hurt! Right. Um, no! shooting that one that screw you come on game treat me good do me nice oh Okay, here we go again. Uh-oh. This is my last elixir. I really hope I'm, they're close to done. I really hope I'm almost done. Oh, actually, that was what I wanted. On. This is tough. <laughs> this is a tough fight. Yes! Yes! Done. I'm sorry, Moral and Luca. You did your best. <sighs> okay. That was a tough fight. <laughs> Doable, obviously, but that was tough. We are done, right? Oh my... Oh, 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 my brain! Oh. What the hell? What is this psychological, psychedelic shit?
shenanigans going on? That was tough, though. I'm glad we beat it, but that was tough. Time to rise and shine. We have a little surprise for you. Your stay of execution has been cancelled. I forgot about that. We've been looking for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? Right here. Daddy, don't! Chrono hasn't done anything. She says Chrono has been a perfect gentleman, but what do you think, Chancellor? Chrono's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? That doesn't mean he's done anything wrong. Please, just listen to me. We had to save the future, right? Save the future, right? Huh? They know? Wait, how do they know? Wait, who is that? You saved, you saved the future and gave us hope. Hi, Doan. And what is going on? That, 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 uh, huh? You fought Magus' troops and brought peace to the kingdom in the year 600. How are they all ending up over here? Luca, right? Chrono beat reptiles. <laughs> um. What? It, I'm wondering the same thing, Marl. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Hi, Luca. <laughs> Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? Our kinsman told me about your incredible mission. Kinsman? You mean these are my ancestors? And descendants? Oh, the old guy on the right is her. Oh, that's the guy that we talked to in. Okay. I was confused who he was for a moment. Here I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter. And you were saving past, present, and future. Yeah, no kidding. Now, for a true victory parade, tonight we celebrate you. Now, Marl, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. Yay! All right, all right. I like this ending. Dude, that's awesome! Come along with Chrono, our hero! Princess Nadia is finally home. At last, Guardia is back to normal. It's a moonlight parade. Okay! What's with the little Miss Cupid in the on the bottom there? Okay, that's awesome. Are they like being summoned or something? Are they dancers? What what are they? Interesting little parade. I guess for medieval times this makes sense to be that this would be the parade rather than like, you know, the balloons we have today.
Wait, am I able to move it? Oh! Wait. I'm playing as Marl? Huh. What? What in the... Okay, this is awesome. This is awesome. Wait a minute, is this... I thought I saw a portal thing. Are we just basically going back to where we started this whole sh... sh fru -ha -ha? Yeah, no, of course we are. <laughs> well, everyone, this is it. Each, th each divine time. The gate has grown weak. Got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Well, they have to go back to their proper times, don't they? Grandma was strong. Mark too. Isla, have fun. Isla didn't get involved. Except for that, like, one part of the whole story. That's not true. I think I had her in my party once. Maybe twice. You're my, dis you're my distant ancestor. So you better have tough kids, or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no worry. I have a very strong. Right? Right? <laughs> hey. What do you mean by that? Kino dummy. We go now. Um. Is a feisty crowd, but they are thy kin, and tis of consequences. Wow, that's hard to say in one breath. Queenly, Queen Lean awaits, your majesty. We too shall take our leave. Okay. Was that all Frog, or was the other dialogue the king? Hmm, oh well. Mr. Frog? Long farewells ne'er were ne'er were necessary. All right. Besides, actions speak louder than words. Aw. Yeah. Don't let these things end with the princess kissing the frog. <laughs> oh, I love that. Now this isn't quite the story of the princess and the frog. Interesting reference, though. Luca, I will miss you. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you going to say goodbye to Roy? She knows. Knows what? Roy was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Roy may not exist in the future. Ha, ha, please relax. The new future has a place for me. Nice. Darn it, Roy! Don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Oh, Luca. Luca. You have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Tears don't become you, Luca. Roy will be there in the new future. You may be different, but yeah, he'll still be there. Oh, poor Luca. Goodbye. <laughs> Caution. Oil has washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. <laughs> okay. Way to raise the mood, uh, Square. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the good ending. I thought Lavos made the gates, but I guess I was wrong. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I think a greater force wanted us to experience those events. That's 
an interesting thing to think about. I wonder. Time travel. How exhausting. Yeah. We should dismantle the epoch. Its job is finished. Cat? You naughty thing! Come back here! Oh, no, 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 no. Look, Chrono. Your cat's running away because you haven't been feeding it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Um... Mom? Uh-oh, crap. Oh, great! Chrono, that gate will never open again! Well, looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them? But the gates... Luca... Don't turn off your brain yet. <laughs> I forgot. We have a time machine. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, princess. The king asks for your presence. Ugh. So, is the choice here based on... Okay, hold on. Guess I have to go back. I'm so happy. Now there's no reason for you to go any away anymore. I have a gift for you. To commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. Huh? This is Nadia's bell. It will ring out across the land. Huh. Marl? Where did you go? Could someone please lend me a hand? Daddy, I hate to say this, but I can't sit around doing nothing. Um. What? Oh, the epoch. Right. I actually forgot about that. <sighs> Made it just in time. Fly fire went off. Uh, no, Tavon. Actually, I. Oh. Uh oh. Well, at least they're only going back in the back. They're only going to that point in time or wherever they are just to get. That was an interesting ending. That was definitely a good ending compared to I. I've heard some pretty bad endings before. Is that the best one? Is that the like the best ending of the game even if it isn't i'm fine with that ending everyone lived happily ever after right wait but i played chrono cross before and isn't the canonical end don't they die against lavos eh i guess chrono cross takes place in a timeline where they do succeed but oh wait no no they can't have died I'm not going to spoil anything on Chrono Cross. We are going to let's play that at some point, but... No, they didn't die. That's all I'm going to say. This is the canonical ending. It must be! Actually, I had a lot of fun with this playthrough. Admittedly, the very end was really tedious. I had to grind for, like, I think 15 levels to be able to... beat this. But, I, I don't know. I think it was worth it. That was a fun final boss fight. It was, there was no way, so, what I didn't explain, I'll go ahead and explain, uh, now, during that fight, that last phase, the guy on the right, um, is the, is Lavos, the guy in the middle is kind of some avatar, and the guy on the left heals everything on the right, so, meaning the, the orb on the left hand side would heal the avatar in the center and the orb on the right, Lavos. Um, as far as I, I did not know this. I, I attacked this, I, I would have attacked the center thing if I didn't look this up. So, I'm kind of glad I, I didn't, like, look for spoilers. I didn't know what ending I was going to get. I didn't know what was going to happen after beating him. All I knew is that Luminaire is the key to beating him. A bunch of elixirs, 
Mega elixirs were recommended, but I didn't have any, so elixirs worked. Um, and attack the one on the left first. Once that's dead, then attack the one on the right and the middle with Luminaire. And try to keep the others alive so you have some kind of backup so you don't game over. But really, that's it. Those are the only pieces of advice I had looked up and found out. Was it worth it? It helped a lot. I guarantee I would have struggled a lot more if I didn't. But yeah, this, this was fun. This was a fun playthrough. As always with Square Enix, I've always had a lot of fun with their games. This is not a single game I have played by them that I've actually finished um, that I did not enjoy. There are even some games that I have played by them that I haven't. I never got the chance to finish. Final Fantasy X and VIII, for example. I've played them, but I never got the chance to finish them. We'll probably get around to them, though, at some point. Um, yeah, for financial reasons. That's why I never finished. But I digress. I guess my thought on this is just like, I'm really, I'm really happy I chose to play this. Admittedly, most of it was blind, but it was a good experience. That's one thing I like about Square Enix games. Squaresoft at this point in time, but still. Squaresoft, Enix Corp, or Square Enix. All three. All the above. One thing I like about their games, this one has no exception to this statement, um, is that they can get difficult, but they're still very, very fair and very, very doable. A good example for this one would actually be, I think one of the secret bosses, it was like the one that Roy, um, Roy the motherboard, I think is what it was called, the mother brain, something like that. That fight was hard. It took me a couple tries, admittedly. I think that was one of the episodes I had to re-record it a couple times just so you guys didn't have to watch all the attempts. Um, it was tough, but it was more than fair. That was a cool effect. I liked that. But yeah, I mean, I would totally play this again on my own if I could. I mean, I can. I own it. But I also can't because you know, I keep myself busy with other stuff as well. I don't do video games all the time. In my past, I have, but I don't know if I if I ever play a game again, like just just for the hell of it. This one would probably fall into that list of games I play again. It was fun enough to where I'd say, yeah, was it worth completing? Yeah, I actually had a lot of fun doing it. It was tough to figure out where and how to go about everything, but it was definitely worth it in the end, and I really loved playing this. That being said, I am going to leave this here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode and this series of Chrono Trigger. Um, if you guys liked it, make sure to push that like button in so far you can't sit anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a Square Enix, Enix Corp, Squaresoft game you'd like to see on here? Let us know in the comments below. We already have quite a few coming their way, including Chrono Cross. Will it be immediate? No. We'll see. Maybe. I don't know yet. Um, however, we'll get to it when we do, and we'll definitely get around to it, because I love that game as well. And plus, I have some jokester ways to go about that game, since I have actually beaten it on the PS4, PS5 remake version. Uh, remaster. My bad. I think I'll enjoy it. But anyway, if you guys have any other suggestions for any other Square Soft Square Enix, Enix Corp games that you'd like to see on here, let us know in the comments below. We'll definitely get around to it at some point because it's me. I love these companies. I love RPGs as a whole. Even sometimes I have to undo and redo them at times just based off certain circumstance. But you know what? It ends up being worth it in the long haul. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um... Why not click the links on the side of my head? One will lead to another game by Squaresoft, or Square Enix, I think, at that point. Uh, the other will take you guys to the rest of the stops on this wonderful ride. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this episode and series, guys, and we hope to see you all in another one. Bye!